Hey guys, welcome to Savage Gaming and another episode of Subsistence. I'm back from holiday and uh, since I've been away there has been an update and it seems like a pretty cool update so far. What the developers added is solar panels which is really 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 cool. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition to the game so I'm just going to do a quick video on what they do, how to build them and uh, what it's all about. So. If we go to our base command unit and we open it up, we can see our little menu here. We scroll down and you'll see here is the solar panel. So solar panel is not that expensive. It's only 10 scrap metal, 15 copper and 20 of the electrical components. So that's that's not too bad. I mean, if you've been playing for a while, um, those things you've got quite a lot of um, or you should normally have quite a few of those. In the beginning, it might seem a bit daunting. But um, yeah, definitely worth it um, in the long run. I can guarantee you that. However, mass is 150, so that's a little bit steep. Uh, taking into account that your standard mass only goes up to 100, um, and in order to get above that, you use need to use either your recycler or your mass fabricator. So, and and that eats quite a bit of power. So, you know, bear that in mind. Make sure you've got enough fuel for your generator. Uh, just to keep your power up so you don't lose your power um, while you're trying to get your mass up for the solar panels. So I've built a few solar panels here. I've made this little deck to to house all my solar panels. Solar panels. I'm going to try and see how many I can build here and what sort of improvement I can get. So without further ado, let me show you what the solar panels do. So if we walk up to one and press F, this is a standard solar panel. hasn't been upgraded. Depending on the amount of light it gets, so up here we'll see it says 69% light, it's giving me 0.05 power. So that's on a standard uh, solar panel. This solar panel has been upgraded. So if we open it up, 69% light and it has got 0.07. So it's a small difference um, in comparison to the non-upgrade. And the upgrade is, a, is, is quite a, a bit of iron, copper, uh, mass and so on. So not a not a not necessarily a cheap upgrade um, but it's going to give you a slight improvement depending obviously on the how many you have and the light factor involved so i have heard and i've read on the forums the second upgrade here which in, increases the power by 25 percent um, is a little bit glitchy and in some cases doesn't work so the max the guys have been able to get out of this at a hundred percent light is 0.9 so yeah guys just just be careful when you build these you know build a few it is nice to have it does go over the 500 power limit of your bcu so you don't need a generator in order to um you know get extra power during the day so that's nice to have especially if you want to run minerals at night uh, you can build a little sort of surplus of power um, while you grinding during the day which is in my opinion um, invaluable um, in the sense that you know I often go out get a bit of iron and so on and then towards the evening I find a uh, a locked crate and I need to quickly make iron fragments and then I have to switch on my generator use my fuel you know refine ore and things like that so this will give you that bit of extra power to be able to do that and do it comfortably um, also you know running your wellhead at the same time will also give you uh, it'll give you a little bit of leeway so you can make a bit more water so you can grow things better so overall it's a really good improvement and i think it's a good update for the game um, and i think it's definitely going to be beneficial once it's been balanced nicely and you know all the kinks have been sorted out so yeah let's let's uh, hope and hope and look forward to the next update i'm really enjoying this so far i hope you guys did too and i will see you on the next episode thanks for watching guys cheers <laughs>